37. Now, Willie G, you there, man? Yeah, I'm there. I just say Townsend's in the building. Yeah! How about those Steelers? Yeah, man. I, and to say, let me give you a heads up about Willie G, man. This even before preseason started, he was on the phone talking about the Steelers, man. That's right. Talking about the same towns. Talking have, about what y'all want to do. We got real fans out there. Yeah, we're man. But, fans. you know, first of all, congratulations, man, on, man, another Super Bowl ring that we actually have in the studio. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It feels good to have it, but I'm, I'm ready for the new one. Are you really? I'm ready for okay. the new one. Okay. That was, that was, now, he's Not got the 2005 he's got the one. He's, he's got the late model Super Bowl ring. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm waiting on the new body. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh. What, Willie G? <laughs> it's around my bathtub right now where it always is, man. <laughs> That's my story. Every Cincinnati Bingo has a ring around his bathtub right now. I mean, look, man. Look, look, Willie G, man. I, he knows I'm from Ohio. I grew up, in, as we know, with Ohio teams, man. To say, you know, that Cincinnati. But while I'm here, peace with the Cowboys. Peace <laughs> <laughs> with the Cowboys. I'm not man. going down by myself. Right. I'm not going down by myself. But right. now we still got five. You know, we still got five. So we, you know, we good. But you hear all the time. You mentioned a few minutes. Growing up, you were a fan of what team? I was a, I was a Cowboy fan growing up. Yes. So, uh, that was a long time. That <laughs> <laughs> means nothing right now. No, because he gets paid for Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> I like him too. I get a check. That's <laughs> I want to say hey. my whole family has converted to still. I, I know they yeah. have. Yeah. Well, that. Now everybody wants to know about you know catching that interception, baby. Uh, man, that was a great feeling. You know. Uh, How many times y'all gonna ask this dude that? You up here every day, man. We don't hey, get to say down every day, man. Okay. I was great because, you know, anytime you think about history of, of NFL football, you always see Cowboys, Steelers, yeah. Raiders, Steelers, you know, uh, something with the Steelers in it. But, yeah. you know, to be a right. part of, of one of the plays that, you know, when I'm hopefully 65, 70, oh, yeah. when, I, when they turn the NFL network, You'll see that interception yeah. uh, in the in the O eight season. But that, when you, you made the catch, were you just yeah. like, oh, man, yes? I, I, when you I, made the catch. The, when I saw it coming, I was like, man, please catch it. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> my mind, but it was a great feeling. I was hitting my TV trying to knock it out your hand. <laughs> 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 but it was great, great feeling. All right. <laughs> what what'd you say, Will G? Coach Randy, he threw a block for you. Hey, I, I appreciate it. A lot of still fans right. threw blocks, man. I appreciate man, it. I appreciate it. Oh, man, I'm kidding you, cut up. Wow. And, what, and, you know, I, what, I always want to go inside the locker room with you guys after the Super Bowl. You know, you win the game. If my footage is, is not too uh, too X-rated, I can bring my <laughs> my my, uh, my my footage from my camera if you guys can download that. Well, yeah, cool. we can. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because, you know, shoot, I won the Super Bowl. I I've done the same thing. I don't even know a but I've done the same thing. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling. I had luckily, I had my had a good feeling. We had a chance to win, so I gave one of the guys that weren't dressing my um, camera in time the game ended. I had my, my camera. Yeah. Okay. Me, so it's, it's a special feeling. And is it always? Is that what you're thinking about all season long? That day, or is you? Do, I know you take things a day at a time, right. a game at a time, but you know. But that's that. Yeah. When when I start training uh, in the next couple of months, the, the the focus will go to to try to win the Super Bowl next year. Yeah. There's no need to, you know, do all that running in the heat down here in Mississippi and, right. all yeah. and, <laughs> yeah. and not try to get a ring. But, you right. know, sometimes, you know, I've been in the league, this will be my 12th year coming up. And wow. It's not well, often. Has it been, it's, it's been it's that long? Yeah, it's, okay. hard, wow. it's hard to uh, yeah. get that ring. We were just talking about that the other night. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the Steelers been in existence for 75 years and right. only have set, appeared in the game seven times. So it's, right. a, it's a big game. It's hard to yeah. get to. Yeah, Will G, are you are you uh, are you playing with your nipples yet? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear you make. Yeah, why well, didn't hear you making any noise yet? I was gonna be, had you gotten to that point yet? <laughs> Man, that's now good. you know what I want to ask you about. What was the transition like uh, between coaches? Uh, well, I think for us is, you know, the Mr. Rooney and our organization. They they do a great job of picking guys that have the same mindset. You know, mm -hmm. when Coach Kyle was left, you know, it was cool. We had a good team. But when Coach Tomlin came in, one thing that he did was he demanded respect. And uh, mm -hmm. for him to be 35, 36 and be yeah. coaching guys that have been in the league 10, 11 years, and right. all, you know, I'm 33, so I'm th three, two years younger than him. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it was going to be kind of fun to see if he could to get that respect. But when he came in, we knew that he meant business. You know, he understood the game of football. He came. He came directly at us, you know, do your job or you'll be gone. And yeah. it's, it's yeah. easy to go to work when you get that kind of uh, 
that kind of question. Well, well, well I want to ask you because you know I'm also a Detroit Piston fan, and I noticed like when they when Larry Brown left, right. the team still had that formula there. You know, was it kind of the same for the Steelers that you know basically you guys play on the field together and you already have that bond? Yeah, one thing about our team is um, when a lot of guys come there, they always say it's different because um, you know if we go out to eat, it'd be 10, 11 of us that want to go out. We go Back. to a club, we're always pretty deep. And we're we a very close team. You Do you know, pat um, each other down before you go in the club? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, before you go in, man. We that one way you got to tell me the guns in the I'm car? Telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> and you know, no plexical <laughs> birds thing on there, man. Let's pat everybody down. Right, make sure we, know yeah, we, we kind of make sure we use that buddy system up there. Okay. Sure. <laughs> hey, man, check it out. Also, are there any person that in the NFL that you scared to hit one-on-one? Man, you know, you, you come into that point of, uh, you know, where you think about that. But, yeah. you know, uh, you know, you either go run in there, you either go wake up, or you go be asleep. You <laughs> come right in there. No matter what happens. That, Something that's you may not think about yeah, as much yeah. at 22, you start thinking about it at 33. Yeah, right, like, man, right, man, right, man. Right. Some of those guys, when you see Brendan Jacobs coming up oh, in there, man, man you, you kind of think about yeah. it, but, you know, it's your job. You got to go in there. Yeah. Bow! Man, you got to go pick up your number. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess a lot of people... <laughs> And I guess a lot of people, you hit enough to know how to hit them, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, like, you know, I know how to bring him there. You know, sometimes you, you make a mistake. You know, I remember one game against Arizona, I tried to hit a fullback that was a lot bigger than me, tried right. to hit him high. And mm. I came out there, my shoulder felt like it was in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, you got to yeah, figure out how to hit him. So, as we speak, everything feeling pretty good on you, know? I feel great. You know, okay. uh, I had a couple injuries this year, but I'm... I'm I already started working out. You know, I yeah. took about two weeks off and I'm back in it. So. Yeah, because I was going to see if you were down for those 40 yard dash in the park. We ran it. We ran it. It's a little wet out there. I don't know what kind of shoes you got on. Yeah. I, I got my, my tennis on. You might be in trouble. Yeah, he uh, said some ones. What you what, what do you have on, Mike? I have twos. <laughs> <laughs> I got one on my right and one on my left. <laughs> Do you, do you, have you guys, do you guys throw around Omar Epps looking like jokes to your coach, man? Oh, man, he looks just like, you know, <laughs> we always have a rookie show that, you know, that, that we put on at the end of training camp, and, and uh, every time for the last few years, all the rookies put up that he looks like Omar yeah. Epps. They do the scene from the program and all that. Oh, no! Like, yeah, man, that's what I saw, dude. I said, man, the Steelers got Omar Epps as their head coach now. <laughs> I didn't even know he had any football experience. Oh, man, he's a great guy, though. Guy. Looking forward to meeting Barack Obama too. That's gonna be pretty. Oh, good. Yeah. oh yeah, man. Well, he gave you guys the best endorsement in the world, right? Oh, yeah. Right before well, the game. Yeah, Mr. Roney. He, well, even in the campaign process, uh, our owner was a big, big uh, supporter of Barack. And, uh, okay. It was pretty neat to oh see wow, that. yeah. Man, that's incredible, man. I don't know what we could do here. Actually, we talked to Barack Obama when he was. Uh, he called to uh, get everybody to support uh, Harold Ford Jr. Yeah, right. When he was running for Senate, and at the time, someone said, "Man, you need to record that call. That dude's gonna become president." Right. I said, oh, man, he's going to be a hair. You know, he didn't record it. He didn't, yeah, didn't record it. Right. right. So now I'm just saying that I'm sure you talked to, sure talk to Barack Obama, Mike Evans. So this time of the year, you're just kind of uh, doing some training. And yeah, just kind of relaxing. You know, a yeah. uh, little downtime, working with my foundation. I have a foundation pay it for that we're getting some. We do an ACT program. We do a Young Men's Etiquette pro program. And okay. we're working on the, um, trying to provide health benefits for people in Mississippi and, Pen and Pennsylvania. So okay. Did you show a lot of support to your folks down in uh, South Panola? I do. I do yeah. a football camp. Uh, it's been my 10th year doing it. And, uh, okay. Last year, we probably had 700 kids there. So. And I, had to, I know it had to be a tough day, even though you, you know, it's been a while since you played for South Panola. Right. When you heard that, that day, that, you, oh, know, you know it's coming. Yeah. But when they lost in the state championship, man. And, and, and the thing that's neat about it, like I always bring, you know, 10, 15 guys down from Pittsburgh. And uh, uh, they all know about South Panola because I'm always talking about them. Right. And, uh, yeah. They were... And when I told them they lost, it was everybody in our, in our defensive back room was kind of sad. Yeah. We, we all pulling for those guys. Yeah. It's just, it had to happen. And then your college team lost the same weekend. Oh, uh, man. Same it was day. tough. Man. Man. And, and if we had lost in Dallas, I would have jumped off a bridge. <laughs> 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 I'm glad I was able to say that. I'm glad I was able to do my part. I'm telling you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? You know you are the ultimate Steeler fan. That is true. University of South Nolan and the University of Alabama. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. 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 Right down the way, man. Right around the corner, man. We got nothing but pride for you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate uh, you it. know, from the time you're in high school to college, man, you've been doing big things, man. Thank you. Uh, you know. Tennis man, man, on the team, Dallas, go ahead. But, but, you know, we're proud of what you're doing, man. Thank you. And we definitely are, man, admire what you're doing. Just keep up the good work, man. And we're looking for, if it's seven, hey. at, at the expense of the Bengals, let it be seven because if I'm right down the road, man, it's all good with me, man. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our special guest in the studio, six.
Tire! World Champion!